Hello, hi everybody. Bobby from Rider here, bringing you part 90 for my Let's Play of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Last time, we started making our way toward our next destination, but unfortunately, Griswold got injured along the way. He was able to keep up with us for a while, but then he was taken out when we were trying to cross a narrow pathway. And, uh, because he wasn't fast enough, we, we lost him. When we finally got there, we met Helen, and we discovered Malroth's old club next to an odd workbench. Shortly after that, Helen agreed reluctantly to help us out and teach us how to uh, build things, but the first thing we had to do was collect some discarded bits from Malroth's old body, is what we're being told. So we went and did that before heading back to the base. We're going to be picking things up from there and seeing where things go. Hopefully we won't lose anybody else. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right back into it. So let's do it. Let's play. Ah, all right. Alter, this is a secret no human should know. Uh, very well, now that the secret's out, there's no reason to stop you from making use of it. Once you've crafted a forbidden altar, press into the terrible town, the longest hole in the blackest field inside it. After a short while, this unholy appendage is transformed into the central materials you seek. Well, what are you waiting for? Make the forbidden altar and set to work. Material desires. Now, how is land bereft of materials? But fear not. I'm going to place sinister items like terrible talons into a forbidden altar and transform them into something useful. Alright then. Fine. I need the thing first to do that. A little more accessible here. Okay. There we go. Alright, now. A bunch of new stuff. First thing we need to do though, is build that forbidden altar. Which we need bones for, of course. Figures. So let's go find some bones. One thing I like about this is you can actually st uh, stack more than one thing in here at a time. We've got Father Lens' new recipe. And the next spaceship wall. Yay. Spaceship corner. Also, yay. Doors of Doom. Reinforced iron corner. Big bolt. 
Hooray! So this is the pernicious power of the Forbidden Altar at work. The Master of Destruction will not be impressed to learn his body parts have been converted into building materials. I fear we will all be punished for this. I knew it's a mistake to join, hand, uh, join hands with a human. I should have separated your head from your shoulders when I first had the chance. Well, better late than never. <laughs> Only kidding. We shall all face Master's Judgment soon enough. Till then, you may use the Forbidden Altar to transform his detritus. Your sinful materials at your leisure. Which of, which of his discarded prior parts will produce what items and what numbers does fate to decide? All I can do is persevere until your needs are met. This is great, Bobby! Now that you know how to get the ingredients you need, it's time for you to show us why the children of Hargon hate you so much. <laughs> you say that, but I don't think I. Our wise princess hates Bobby. In fact, I think she's taken a bit of a sign to him. Not in the slightest. As a devotee and scholar of the Master of Destruction, I'm really interested to learn more of the sensor's powers. It's most intriguing is the discarded debris can be put in use by our premises. This is worthy of further study. The procedure confirmed. Place relics of Malaros in the Forbidden Altar to create construction materials. Then you can use them to build. Then you can use them to build. Uh, then you can use them to build a shelter, just like you spotted out in the blueprint. Sorry, Bobby, but there's no way if monsters can't be built. It's a sin. You'll have to use the construction all by yourself. Fine. All right. So two blocks. And right now, I can only make twenty. So I don't have that many items. It's so fine. Mm -hmm. yep. Box and E. I should also make some more food. Do I have any more? I do not. I should fix that, but I'll fix that in a bit. I'll fix that soon.
at one of them. Here the, the iron blocks. For now, I don't think I need that either. Okay, let's see. Where does the citadel wall stuff go? Up in the front there. Okay. Wall, now the spaceship walls. Okay, building, building is, building can be fun, but I, mean, I have to admit that I do enjoy the space, the spaceship walls here. Uh, on my uh, personal file, I actually have a uh, a little uh, my own little base area. I've made a, a little spaceship place uses all the spaceship materials. So, yeah. I like the spaceship stuff. Yet. I don't have the iron corners yet, but that would probably help get those first. in the back, that's why I couldn't figure it out. Duh. Duh. Dummy. You dummy. That's why I couldn't figure out why the pieces wouldn't go there, because I was looking in the wrong place. Nope. Yeah, dummy. 
dummy. There, done. Hooray, I built the armory shelter. Bleep bleep, completed blueprint detected. Is this the shelter? It's magnificent! Look everyone, the blueprint's finished! Well, it's certainly a strange building you've made, Dobby. I've never seen anything quite like it. Searching data banks, the outer walls are unlike anything found in Malhalla. Protection factor, maximal. Survival chances increased. Though you're a sworn enemy of the children of Hargon, you'd rebuild one of the orders, uh, orders most unholy havens and are just havens from destruction. There's something about you, builders. Something very peculiar yet very interesting. No, not builders, but you, Bobby. You are a most intriguing individual indeed. For you to clarify yourself and say it's specifically me, that leads me to believe you've met other builders in the past. For you to suddenly clarify like that, what's going on with you, Helen? Anyway, if you are truly a friend of the Master of Destruction, perhaps it would be wise of me to help you. After all, no matter what Children of Hargon teach and tell us about builders, I am sworn to serve Almighty Malra first and foremost. Yes. So you must do what I tell you. Blueprint complete. Quantum gratitude circuits activated. Thank you, Bobby. Color exquisite. Form ditto. Architectural style. Future Hargonian. It is magnificent. But my calculations suggest no flaw in the design. It is a shelter really finished. Your senses must be gunked up with goo, Noah. As far as I can tell, the place looks great. The shelter's appearance is not the problem. I calculate that the holding capacity is too low to rescue many monsters. Furthermore, recent aura field readings indicate that Bobby has a far greater aptitude for building than the simple shelter would suggest. We have much more work to do if we want to serve our save our monster comrades. I hope you will continue to assist us. When Noah said the Celta split, split on the small side, I think he was right. There don't fit many monsters in there. It'd be fine for sure signs like me. We can squid in the small, t uh, tightest places, but not all monsters can do that. We really need something bigger, but would you be able to build some humongous shelter all by yourself? I'd ask for... It's a big ask for one gooman. What? You normally bash a bell to bring people in and go off to the building for you. That's genius! If we had more friends to help us with building work, that makes shelter would be easy making shelter would be as easy as pie. Oh, but there aren't any bells around here. How are we gonna do this? Well I think I have an idea. Hoo hoo hoo, what's the mad mad matter, Bobby? This little problem shouldn't stump some stump someone like you. If you don't have it, build it. Isn't that what the nit nit nitty grit grit gritty of being a builder? I left something very important behind for you, remember? Rack, rack, rack your brains and see if you can't figure out a way to put it to use. What's the spider, Bobby? Are you trying to work out how to build the bell? If you do figure out a way, I think it can go nicely in the front of the shelter. Ding! I learned a new recipe. Yay! Builder's bell. Decorative item. A bell and with the spirit of builders uh, that inspires inventiveness and ingenuity. Well, we can look at that. Suddenly we know how to make a bell. A bell that will help us. Supposedly. But we shall find out. Let us do that. Builder's bell. Ding! Alrighty. Bobby obtains a builder's bell. Alright, well, we are going to put it right where you're standing. Get out of the way, thank you, Noah. Appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Yeah. Gooey! Is that the builder's bell? Not as gruesome as I th imagined. In fact, it's rather lovely. Hey everyone, look at this. Bobby's made something super duper for us. 
Bleep bleep, warning warning, high levels of building energy detected. This profane idol slays the unholy haven of Harkon? Uh, how should I allow this to happen? Super, a bell though, uh, what are we supposed to do with it? Well... Lost all this power. Huh. Hmm, okay, fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Give the bills about a great big clang. It'll just flat, uh, it'll just attract friends from far and wide, right? Then we can all help you make the shelter even more enormous and ride out grooms there together. <laughs> That's the easiest said than done. The monsters around here are all staunch supporters of the Hagon. We'll never persuade them to build. Collating possible scenarios where chances of attracting monsters maximal, chances of monsters will begin building minimal. I just can't see anyone wanting to help out. Who ever heard of monster building, anyway? Just because we haven't built before doesn't mean we can't start now. Anything a Goomin can do, we can do better. Now, don't go getting ahead of yourself there, my friend. When the sound of that bell echoes through the air, monsters will come from miles around to see what's going on, right? Remember, no, I don't seem to think this will work, but you never know unless you give it a coup. What's that? It always worked with Goomans, but you never tried with monsters before? Well, Goomans and monsters are very different. There's no telling them might go down. But we can't let that stop us. When they hear about the shelter, I'm sure that the monsters will agree to help. And don't forget, some of them may be glued up, glued up on, what we might find, on where we might find your friend. So go on, Bobby. Ring the bell. You now raise your base level. Yep. Ding. There we go. Ding! And there we have it. Our base is now level 1. Hooray! A few monsters awaken to the benefits of building. The population of all these graves just got a little bigger. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, here we go. Scribble, 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 scribble. Ta-da! I know, I suddenly know how to make these things! Just randomly I've learned these things now. Think. Just suddenly my brain knows them. Cooey, what a glorious sound! It looks, the monsters must have heard it and moseyed all, moseyed all over. It worked, Bobby! Just new inventions detected. You can now build shiny spaceship walls, ramps, and viewing domes. Sounds great! I don't understand a thing about construction materials, mind you. I'm getting a strange feeling in my goose sacks. Bobby, I think I want to help you build things! Building impulse drive initiated. I never knew such a component was installed. I will help build too. Me and Noah can't feel it, but what about Grimville and Helen? Are you two getting the spurts to build too? I... I can't say that I am. How strange. Nothing of the sort stirs within me. Well, not to worry. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. Anyway, Bobby, let's go and greet some new arrivals. They might know something about your pal. We heard a strange sound, Kevs. Coming from around, uh, somewhere around here. What's going on? Greetings, friend. We no need to be nervous. Robbie's here to build and is making a shelter to keep us safe from Goomsday arrives. Did you say? Did you who, who say a builder? This is one of your children from Hargon. I'll never disobey Hargon's teachings. Look, you don't have to become build, uh, best friends. All we're saying is, this, uh, that he can have us, that he can save us when Doomsday rolls around. You don't want to die, do you? Of course not, but what's the, but what does Helen have to say about this? You'll have hell to pay if we find, finds out what's going on here. What are you staring at, human? Have you got, got something you want to say to me? Go on, spit it out. <laughs> have I seen your friend now or else? No, I never heard that name before in my life. What makes you think your friend even could be here in the first place? Anyway, Malhalla is you ooh ooh and full of vortexes. Even if you ooh ooh, even if you knew ooh ooh where you would be, where he was, you wouldn't be able to get to him in time to use those few ooh ooh and likely yours. 
What should we do instead then? You could ride on my back, but I don't think that'd be any sicker than walking. Bleep bleep, malloc location failed, recalculating malloc location procedure, error, not enough information, must expand data set. Five more monsters take a present in the Haven of Argon. Well. Isn't that nice? Alrighty. I wasn't sure if ringing the bell was going to work, but it did. I made it happen at the shelter, but it might take a little slime to tell Grim Grimville and Helen feel the same. After all, this place is going to save us when Goomsday comes. It's for our own goo. Why don't, why don't they get that? I'm sorry, Iris Bottle. I just don't... I don't dislike Bobby, and I think building is a great thing. Honestly, I do. It's just... We're monsters! Not only that, we're members of the Children of Hargon. I can't disobey the High Priestess's teaching so easily. But, but, but... Bleep, bleep, bleep. Engaging empathy protocols. I understand how you feel, feel Aristotle, but everyone has their own beliefs. We must respect that. I know, but... Uh... Hello, Bobby. We have succeeded in bringing more monsters. Even more will be coming. We must expand the shelter to fit everyone in. But we'll need to build an enormous. But we'll need to be in the, build an enormous shelter to regrow out, to rescue all the monsters. I don't think the three of us can do it alone. This is affirmative. We cannot succeed alone, and we cannot force the others to work if they don't want to. But one cannot crash before one has rooted up. Let us drop a design and worry about building it later. Alright, let's go with this. Hmm. Yep, this. We need a new blueprint, Bobby. Build upon the last one and make it bigger and better than ever before. Got it. There we go. Bobby draws out Arc Understructure Blueprint. Leap, leap, whir, blueprint detected, blueprint detected. Big boy. Got a big boy now. A lot of stuff going on. Cool, we Bobby made another blue, another blueprint, and it's even bigger than the last one. This is, does not compute. Are you sure this blueprint is for a shelter? This is negative. It's for an Arc. A vehicle we can use to escape from Malhalla. This thing is absolutely enormous! It's amazing! Does it still does not compute? The vessel on the blueprint seems incapable of flight. Perhaps you have made an error. Does it, the blueprint is not yet finished. You need to intend to calculate how to finish the arc as we build it. You'll figure out how to finish this as we goo. I can't wait to see how it turns out. In that case, construction computes. Allow me to assist you generating progress percentage program. We're... Mission. Crafty craft crafting. Build the Ark. Build an Ark with enough passenger capacity for all monsters. Probability of surviving Doomsday without escape craft. Zero. Probability of surviving Doomsday with escape craft. Unknown. Conclusion. Build escape craft. Additional advantage. Building the Ark will attract monsters. Monsters may supply data about your friend. Now off triangulation probability increased. What have you done this time, Aerith Bottle? I didn't do anything! I don't know what's going on! More gravitational field. Is this gravitational field perturbation detected? Mass of Mount Hall is increasing the accelerated rate. Doomsday draws near, and merely it hits the mass of the truck grand machination. It's free, it's free! Are you saying the real thing we've left from our tourists? Deep, deep, elevated radiant computer sensors. We must complete the arc. There is not a moment to lose. Yikes. 
the day Deliverance approaches, I expect we'll see an increase in such tremors. Bobby, Earth, Bottle, listen. I've decided that I don't really feel like being destroyed. I think I will help you construct the after Ark after all. We don't want to die either. We'll help you. We'll help you ooh, ooh, build the Ark too. Ooh, ooh. So you've all turned your backs on the Master? Helen, you say the destruction will bring us- Helen, you say the destruction will bring us salvation, but is this truly what you believe? Bobby is a builder, the enemy of our order, but in trying to save us, he has destroyed something far more valuable than our physical forms. He has destroyed the children of Hargon's fundamental principles. Perhaps he is the only true believer among us. I- I had never thought of it like that. In light of this revelation, it must be Hargon's will that I help Bobby to build the Ark. And as the truth be told, I do not want to die either. Monsters have warmed a building! Yay! This is great news! If we all work together, we have the Ark built in no slime at all! Calculations confirmed. Let us begin construction. Let the mission begin! Alright, well... We'll do that in the next episode, because we're past 30 minutes now, so we're going to go ahead and stop it. So, yeah. We, uh, now have an even bigger, uh, mission to worry about. We had small potatoes there, the little, uh, little arms raid shelter, but now we've got a bigger one to deal with. So, yeah. That's going to do it for this episode, you guys. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Feel free to leave this video a like, comment if there's something specific you enjoyed, and if you haven't done so already and feel like doing so, feel free to subscribe. You really help my channel out. For now though, this is Bobby Thornbody. Aloha, and I will see you all next time.